Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelley. There are more than three trillion trees in the world. Trees are very important for many reasons and we need to protect them. Trees produce the oxygen that we all need to live. But did you know that trees can also provide habitats for vast numbers of living things? A habitat is a place that provides the things an organism needs to survive, such as a home, food, and protection. In this video, we're going to look at some creatures that depend on trees for their habitats. So what makes a tree a habitat? It provides animals a space to build a home. It provides nourishment and it provides protection. A tree's trunk, its branches, leaves, and even its roots provide places for animals to build their homes. Squirrels weave twigs, leaves, and other materials to build their trays high up in a tree, or they may make their den in a tree hollow. Spiders often build their webs hanging from low tree branches and even under trees. Birds use twigs and other materials to build their nests on forks and branches and bushes. Or they may make their home in a tree hollow. Butterflies and other insects build chrysalises and cocoons on the branches and leaves of trees. Bees often build their hives on branches or in tree hollows. Tree frogs can be found living in the canopies of trees. Even larger mammals, such as foxes, possums, deer, and even black bears can use trees as shelter. But trees are also homes to many other organisms, such as lichen, vines, and fungi with their mushroom fruiting bodies. Trees also provide food and water. They release oxygen and water vapor into the air, and they slowly release water into streams and rivers. Their leaves provide food for insects such as caterpillars, ants, and beetles. Their flowers provide nectar and pollen to butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds to name a few. Their nuts provide food for squirrels and chipmunks and many other animals including deer and bears. Their trunks provide food for woodpeckers and other birds who feed on insects living inside the bark, in addition to beavers and other rodents. And finally, trees provide protection. Their leaves, branches, holes, and hollows are places where creatures can hide and be protected from rain and other weather. They provide high up places where many predators cannot reach. They can provide a place to hide in plain sight. And they also provide shade and reduce air and water temperatures. Now that you have learned about some of the many organisms that call trees their home, let's put your knowledge into action. Your project for this week is to go on an observation scavenger hunt. Print out the scavenger hunt sheet. The link can be found in the description below this video. And head outside to your yard, a park, or any area with trees and begin your observation. Look not only for organisms living on the tree, but also for evidence of them using the tree as a habitat. Check off anything you find on your sheet. Have fun and stay curious!